In this video, we would be talking about financial planning. But before we discuss financial planning, it is very important for us to understand what is meant by personal finance. Personal finance is simply the domain of finance that deals with managing one's money effectively. At some point of time, we all will have to start dealing with money. Uh, and once we start working, once we start with our careers, we would have multiple sources of income with money flowing in. Unless and until we master the science and the art of effectively managing this money, it would be very, very difficult to ensure our finances are in a good shape. So personal finance covers the concept of how to spend money based on the income that we are generating. At the same time, ensuring that we are also setting aside sufficient amount of money for our future needs. And in the due process, we are also able to generate wealth over time. So finance, personal finance simply deals with the concept of uh, spending money according to the income that we are earning. Set, making sure that we are able to save money at the same time, ensuring that we are able to invest the money that we are earning. So. What does personal finance deal with? Personal finance deals with making healthy choices to ensure that we are able to al align our values with our expectations and our aspirations. Let's say we are in a need of some amount of money, let's say after five years, we have to ensure that we start saving money from today. So if you need 5 lakhs after 5 years, how much of money should you start saving from today? So all these aspects are dealt under personal finance. Now, there are three major components which falls under personal finance. The first is budgeting. Budgeting deals with the process of creating a plan to ensure that we are able to effectively manage the money that we are earning in accordance with our income. The second component of personal finance is savings. What does saving deal with? Savings deals with setting aside sufficient amount of income for one's uh, personal use in the future. Finally, the last component is investing. And in investing, we deal with putting money aside with the goal to generate sufficient amount of return or profit over time. So these are the three components of personal finance. The next, uh, we would be trying to understand financial literacy. What is meant by financial literacy? Financial literacy deals with understanding and uh, uh, ensuring that we have the sufficient amount of knowledge with respect to the different financial concepts. Today, the entire world revolves around multiple financial concepts like inflation, deflation, GDP, uh, prime index, etc. So unless and until we have a good understanding about these financial concepts, it's very difficult to, for us to understand how the world of finance exactly works. So by gaining financial literacy, it will help us to ensure that we are able to take informed decisions on managing our money effectively. Then for financial literacy deals with the right knowledge and the skill so that individuals can build at the same time they can protect their wealth as well. So how is it that one can become financially literate? We can become financially literate by acquiring knowledge through enrolling ourselves from different courses. There are many books which are written on the area of personal finance. We also have multiple online resources which are available today. Why do we need all this? The reason why we would be needing all this is to ensure that we have a right sense of direction in managing our money. So financial planning will help us in providing us with a sense of direction and ensure that we are able to focus on managing our money effectively. By formulating financial plans, we are able to allocate sufficient amount of resources. We are able to prioritize our spending at the same time, we are also able to ensure that we are investing a mon hard earned money into the right asset classes. So through the entire process of financial planning, we are able to develop a structured plan for achieving our expectations or aspiration. 
So when we have a financial plan in place, it gives us a sense of motivation. It gives us a sense of purpose to ensure that we are on the right track. So through the process of financial planning, we are able to make disciplined and financial choices. So when we have a good financial plan in place, we are able to ensure that we are tracking the progress. Uh, we may have different milestones which have been created and it will also help us to ensure and celebrate these milestones just in case if there is any deviation in our financial plan, we would be able to adjust our strategies accordingly. So in the due process, we would be able to reduce a lot of stress, uncertainty, uh, and then we would have a clarity with re respect to the plan that we must follow. Next, let's talk about financial plans. Why should each and every individual must possess financial plan? Through these financial plans, it will provide us with a sense of direction, focus. This is effective uh, methodology when it comes to our money management. It helps us to ensure that the decisions that we are taking are informed decision. When we have financial goals in place, these financial goals will help us to have roadmaps. So let's say after three years, you want to buy a vehicle. After 10 years, you want to buy your own house. Uh, maybe after 15 years, you want to go for a higher studies. So all these uh, roadmaps, we would be able to decide Based on these roadmaps, we would be able to allocate the sufficient amount of resources and make sure that we are making the appropriate decisions. So when we have good financial goals in place, it gives us a sense of discipline. And we are also ensuring that our spending, savings, investments, all are happening in a goal-oriented behavior. When we have financial goals defined and in place, it helps us to track our progress. So overall, it helps us to reduce our stress and uncertainty. Finally, this gives us a sense of financial security. So we know that we are having sufficient amount of money in place. So whenever we talk about financial goals, it can be categorized into three. We have short term goals, we can have medium term goals, and then we can have long term goals. Now let's talk about the process of financial planning. The first step is to identify a goal. Second is to determine the de deadline for each of these goals. Finally, the duration needed. And then finally determine the significance of these financial goals. So with that, we've come to the end on this video on personal finance.